Hi again, this is Genevieve from the blog GraceWeHome.com and today I am taking you along for some slow winter homemaking and sharing a little more about our story. It's the start of the new year and while many folks are already implementing their New Year's resolutions and setting their goals and picking out their words and Bible verses for the year, I feel like we have had a very slow start here on the farm. For many years, I used to purchase a planner for the new year, and I found that every time I did that, I never actually followed through. I would have maybe one month, or maybe two at the most, filled in, and it just kind of made me feel like a failure. And that, on top of not exercising the right amount, or eating the most wholesome foods. I mean, if you've been following us, you know that we eat as natural as we can within basically an 80-20 type of rule before that was even a rule. We just eat as many whole foods as we can, but then we also enjoy our ice cream or our s'mores or something um, like a, a nice dessert. We also love to bake, so it's not like we are really strict on our diet. But so many years I felt like I was planning all of these different things for the year and I was so hopeful and really excited about the fresh start. But then, like I said, I would find that I just couldn't maintain it. And so within the first few weeks of the new year, I would always feel like a failure because either I lost my patience or I didn't finish a project or I said that I was going to do some type of fun thing with the kids and then I didn't end up doing that because we got too busy or whatever the case was. So this year I'm kind of throwing that all out <laughs> and just being a little bit wild and free, which is really different for me. It's kind of a challenge because I have always been a bit of an overachiever. And that was even more so when I was in the military. My husband and I both served. We were deployed and as you can imagine, we were trained to always be prepared. We were, um, you know, we were very organized and there was always a system and we try to always fine tune our skills. We were always learning new things and things were always being updated and made better. Those different things really instilled uh, order <laughs> and uh, taking care of what God has given us. And so I try to implement that every day here on our farm.
We've owned our property for a little over 10 years now and we've lived here full time for over eight years. With a lot of trial and error, we have found simple ways to help us be more efficient here on our farm and in our farmhouse. Now that doesn't mean that we feel like we are the experts or that we have arrived and that there's no more learning that needs to take place. We are constantly learning. We are constantly experimenting with different things, whether it's in the garden, in the kitchen, or on the farm. We want others to know that it doesn't have to be all or nothing. We don't have to subscribe to a trend or a specific way of doing things to get it right. Simple living doesn't mean that it doesn't come with hard work. It just means that we choose to trade in the busyness of life for a more simple and less complicated lifestyle and ultimately be able to spend more time on the things that matter most to us, like our faith, our family, and our homes.
As I get older, I see even more so now how important it is to be intentional with our time and how we spend our days. We don't get this time back, and I really do not want to be so distracted with the busyness of life that I miss any of it. Thank you.